Free Cashmere, and today, baby, we're getting into this hair, okay? What? You know, I'm back with another video, back with raw hair, and we have a different texture, so we'll get into it. I'm going to show you how I get these curls, quick and easy, 15-minute style, and we out the door. Let's go. I want to say it was like last year, literally right around the same time, because I remember we had a Christmas tree in the backdrop, <laughs> okay? Um, and I was reviewing raw hair for the first time. Well, baby, we back, okay? So I wanted to come to y'all and show y'all this hair that um, I have. It is their loose Vietnamese curly hair. Um, I have two bundles of 24 inches, but we did cut them to just about 20 inches. So it comes to about right here. We said my style is cut about four inches off of it because it was real long and I've never had hair this long before, so I was kind of nervous. So we're gonna get into this hair. I wanted to come to y'all and show y'all the hair um, in this blown out state. I have been wearing this hair since September of 2020 and it is now December. So, you know, I got a couple of months of wear out of it. It is two bundles and a closure. I am going to be curling it with my curling wand today. So I wanted to show you how I get those curls and kind of just talk through, you know, how I take care of the hair, shedding, all that. So. If you are new to my channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like all things hair, fashion, home decor, honey, baby, welcome. What you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to cut right to the chase, okay? Normally, what I do when I am going to curl my hair, I, sh I section it off into two sections like this. Um, and... Really, you don't do anything with this section. It's just kind of out of the way. But I always like to start in the back. And I am i don't want too small of a curl. So I'm gonna just pin this up out of the way, like so. Boom. So I'm starting with a, quite a substantial amount of hair. It's not a small section of hair, as you can see. Right, so my curling wand is the Infinity Pro Con Air curling wand. <laughs> y'all like how I told y'all the type of curling wand, like I was like a real influencer. <laughs> um, this came from Target, I'm pretty sure, or like Walgreens or CVS, but I'm pretty sure it was Target. Um, it's nothing fancy about this curling wand. It goes up to 400 degrees, which is the setting that I have it on, and there's a reason why. Because I'm doing larger sections, I wanted to make sure that it curls all the way through all of the hair. Um, so yeah. We are gonna curl the hair and then let it cool. And then when, when it is cooled, then we'll take the curl out. So I start at the top of the wand and it's upside down. And I'm just gonna wrap the hair really, really tight. I don't have like a special technique or nothing to this y'all, but I do hold on to the hair um, until I feel it start to be um, warm to the touch. That's how I know that. It's heated the hair all the way through, which is what you want. And then once it kind of gets to the point where you can't really hold it no more, we just gonna let it go. So, we are about there. And now, pro tip, you wanna make sure that that little stand right there is not attached to the hair, cause it'll mess up your tape down, like I just did. And so I literally let it stay curled and I bunch it all together, y'all. And I take my clip and put it right in the middle and let it hold it until it cools off and then we go to the next one. So we're just gonna repeat that for our whole head and you'll see, like I said, I'm not doing small sections. Another section. So yeah, last year when I did my raw hair review, I had the same stylist do my install. It was a sew-in. I'm pretty sure it was a closure sew-in. Um, I got it done in September. I kept it in, I wanna say, until like December, and then I went and got it redone. Um, and that's pretty much the same thing that I did this year. Same stylist, same sew-in method. Like, I did literally nothing different. Um, it was a different hair texture, but same company. So last year when I did it, I had their Cambodian um, hair. I think it's Cambodian wavy or Cambodian curly or Cambodian something. Um, loved it. Hair was bomb. Had absolutely no complaints. Nothing negative to say about that hair. Um, I could probably take that hair out the pack today and 
wash it and wear it and get it reinstalled and it would still be bomb. Um, pretty much the same experience that I had with this hair this time. The only, the biggest difference for me this go around with this install was obviously the hair is a lot longer than it was last year. Um, I normally am like, you know, a, uh, you know, 16, 18 inch girl. So when they send me these 24 inch bundles, baby, I'm a little nervous. Um, but we made it do what it do. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of have gotten used to it. And I think I kind of like it. Like they may have turned me out a little bit. Like I may be a bundles, bundles girl now. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I am gonna get this hair reinstalled. So we'll see um, how that goes. But I, I want to get this reinstalled, but I'm also kind of itching for um, a bob. I don't know why. Like I kind of want to do a bob. So I, that may be my next style, but I definitely am gonna come back to this hair for sure if I don't get it reinstalled right away. And so as you can see, the curls, when you let them cool, they curl, the curl kind of like keeps its form a little bit better. And that is what we want, baby. So we are gonna slightly pull them apart. So I do have some layers <clears throat> around the front of my face. So literally just gonna do the same thing with the front. We're gonna wrap it. Install was the same. I've gotten so many compliments on this hair. I always do raw hair. The hair feels good to touch. It's so nice and flowy. Like it doesn't feel stiff, like stiff wear. Um, and that's one thing that I really like about this hair company is the quality of the hair. Now I will say that I did learn something. This go round with longer hair is a lot more to wash his hair like wash is a lot more complex because it is such a, such a larger amount of hair so one thing that i did to kind of maintain the hair in between me washing it is like little mini blowouts and that may sound dumb like duh you can just blow the hair out but no like y'all i literally would get a blow dryer and i use <clears throat> this the cheese silk infusion i put a little bit of this in my hands and put it all over the hair and then blow it out just literally blow it out and y'all the hair is like instantly refreshed like it's so soft and flowy and it brings the hair right back to life and then i go on about my day with curling it or whatever so did learn that pro tip now as far as shedding this hair does shed not gonna lie and i think that not necessarily how we installed it but the um like obviously we bleached the knots and stuff and i wonder if that has something to do with um, bleaching the knots. This lace is um, kind of, it's delicate lace. And I think one thing that I did wrong, because I know how to do hair myself, like I don't go and get it refreshed by my stylist as much as I probably should. Like I'll try to do it myself because I'm cheap. Um, and so when I was redoing the closure, like as my hair starts to grow out, obviously it's slipping back. If you've ever had a sew-in, you know, like that's how that, that goes. So as I'm pulling it forward, I know that I was pulling the hair out. So I had to do some adjustments to that with the closure, but that was like where I was getting the most of the, um, the most of the breakage, I would say, or shedding. Um, but other than that, I feel like the actual bundles haven't really, who is this hot? Oh, la. The actual bundles have not shed it that bad. Um, I would say most of the shedding did come from the closure or like in the front of the hair. And I just feel like that's because there obviously was a lot more tension on the closure and me styling it. And, you know, she gave me a middle part when she did it. And then I would switch it to a side part and me doing the most. I feel like that has something to do with the shedding as well. But I wouldn't say that it's any more shedding than I've seen any other hair that I've ever had before. So yeah, the hair is gonna shed, but it's okay. Because honestly, the hair is so thick that like if it does shed, you ain't gonna miss it. Like you are not about to be out here bald, don't worry. So overall, minimal shedding, like I said, except for me being extra and doing the most of this hair. And you have to keep in mind, I've had this hair in for September, October, November, December, four months now. So, you know, I, I got my money's worth. 
so yeah four months and i saw i think i started noticing it shedding a little bit more towards the end of those four months so i would say probably like last month i noticed okay it's shedding a little bit more than it um originally was and it's okay like it hasn't bothered me i don't feel like oh my god i'm bald or anything like that so your hair will shed i, I have not ever had a hair company i've never try to wig or bundles or anything and not have the sh hair shed so if you watch a hair review and somebody say the hair don't shed they've had it in for two hours and that's not an honest review because everybody's hair is gonna shed and that's on period now whether or not it sheds a lot or a little bit that's one thing but it's gonna shed just like prepare yourself for it because it's gonna shed like mentally wrap it around your head it's gonna shed you'll be fine as far as the quality of this hair i would say it is some of the best quality hair that i've ever had i'll link the video down below where i was talking about my first install with raw hair from last year um, and, how hype, and how hype i was literally same feelings like nothing has changed um the only difference is the length okay and the texture this hair isn't um as coarse as the cambodian it's a lot it's a lot whew, oh, that got hot. it's a lot looser and i'm here for it like it is great everyday wear hair y'all have seen me um with hats y'all have seen me with a side part a middle part straight curly wavy like natural state of, like the natural state of this hair is so pretty like if you just wash it and let it air dry oh my god it's so pretty and i've done everything to this hair um in these four months so yeah it was really easy to straighten it i mean really easy to straighten a style um, and then you know obviously it reverts back fine like it didn't lose any of its curl or waviness or anything like that so super excited about this hair I highly highly recommend it I have um, this is one of my top I would say probably top two hair companies um, yeah, I would say this is top two hair companies and it ain't number two. Legit. So, yeah. I'm almost done with these curls. I'm going to show you how I am going to just pull them out, baby. It cools off a little bit. So, this is what we have so far, right? Now, I don't want the curls to get too, too big. If I wanted them to be big, I would just rake through it, right? That ain't what I want to do. So, I literally just want to separate the curls. Gently without them going crazy. We're gonna separate them and try to have them keep some of its form. <clears throat> and so in order to do that, you may just have to take smaller pieces like that. And just rewind them with your fingers. Super is easy. Like that, and I love that. You probably could even just Pull it back and then pull it forward and then take the hair and just kind of fluff it out and this is how I get my curl drill it's <laughs> super easy don't take no you know it doesn't take hours to do and these curls because I curl wanted them they're gonna stay in like it's curled <laughs> ain't going nowhere so we're gonna do the same thing with this side over here and push it back to the front and that just kind of creates that little in the front and then we're just gonna recurl small sections like that and it's hard for me to see I can't really tell if if they're even y'all see me sitting here playing in the hair I'm about to see how much shedding we've gotten one two three four strands of hair so yes it's gonna shed but I'm not bald like you'll live um but yeah 
hands down, I have to say this hair is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I am absolutely in love with this hair. Let me get closer so you guys can kind of see just the texture of the hair. Like, bomb. Like, sis. Look at that. So bouncy, so light. It's a yes for me. Same as last year. Definitely would highly recommend this hair, y'all. I love raw hair. And, you know, as I mentioned last year, this was my first time using, like, actual raw hair. And I was a little nervous because of the price, not gonna lie. Um, but what I saw was truly it's an investment, obviously. But I, I bought that hair last year and didn't buy any more hair for the rest of the year. Um, the only time I did switch it up was when I was ready for a different texture because I was going on vacation. So, would definitely recommend it. I know it may seem like a lot up front, but you just really got to ask yourself, like, do I want to spend this money now or do I want to get my hair done 12 times for $200 every time throughout the year? Like, so definitely would highly recommend this hair, y'all. This bomb. Um, I have this hair and I have the hair from last year. Like, I'm set. I, I, I'm good for 2021. You feel me? Um, so, yeah. Highly recommend this hair. The luster, the, the natural luster, the color that it comes in, everything is just perfect for me. Um, and I like for my, you know, wigs, sew-ins, or whatever to look really natural. Like, obviously, it ain't my real hair. But I want you to think or question whether or not it's my real hair. And raw hair does that every time for me. So, yeah. Get you some. Y'all saw how I just style the hair. It's super easy. It's not, like, to maintain it, it's not, like, a really high-maintenance hair. Like, I literally comb it out at night, tie my edges down, and then put on my bonnet. And I'm, that's it. Like, that's all I do to this hair. I don't, you know, do anything extra. I, I, I put very little product in the hair. Like I said, the only product that I typically will put is the Chi. Um, and that's just when I blow it out. And that's really all this hair needs. Um, if it ever, like, is needing, like, a refresh or anything. So, yeah. Drop down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this hair. If you have tried raw hair, what has your experience been? Um, I love getting y'all's feedback. And, and um, I look forward to hopefully seeing y'all tag me. You know, if you guys have tried raw hair, like, tag me in your pictures. Like, on Instagram, let me know. If you try raw hair and you talk to them, DM them. Like, they're super sweet. Um, tell them I sent you. Okay, that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, drop down in the comments, like I said, with any questions or anything that you may have about this hair. Thank you so much to Raw Hair for sponsoring this video. Um, also, thank you for allowing me to give my honest feedback. Um, I was a little nervous about that, not gonna lie, um, because I wanted to make sure that I was able to wear the hair, actually experience the hair, and give honest feedback, so that was important for me. And y'all already know how I felt about the hair before anyway, so this was dope for me to actually be able to work with them, because I love this company, I, I believe in them. It's owned by black women, I support black owned business, you know, so yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.